morning to you guys. <laughs> um, first off, I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day. Um, <laughs> I wanted to come on this morning and do a quick, you know, chit chat with you guys. Doing a ride along chit chat <laughs> about a hot topic right now um, that's going on. Dogecoin. Well, last night, as you guys know, on S SNL, um, Elon Moss hosted the show last night. And after his announcement that he made when he was talking about Dogecoin, there was a significant drop in the price on Dogecoin. Um, before I get into what I got to say about this um, cryptocurrency, I just want to let you guys know that I am in no way any type of financial advisor, uh, stock guru, or any of that. No way whatsoever. But when I believe in something, um, I will speak on it. Um, in my opinion, I am going to hold, um, I have invested in Dogecoin and I believe in it. Um, cryptocurrency is about to become the future, whether you guys know it or not, um, if y'all want to accept it or not, um, it's coming. So, you better get in where you fit in. That's my suggestion. Um, we're already using Bitcoin to purchase things. Um, it's already set up in China. <laughs> and I think Dogecoin, in my opinion, is going to be for the people like me. I'm not no millionaire. I can't just purchase a $58,000 Bitcoin. I actually purchased, I put a little money in Bitcoin, <laughs> but it ain't enough to do nothing with. So, um, I had to um, figure out a way where I could at least get into the market. And Dogecoin was that entry point for me. Um... I started looking into uh, cryptocurrency after Nipsey Hussle passed away. He was actually my inspiration for me to start looking into it because I started doing some research on him because he was from the West Coast and he wasn't really known here on the East Coast. But after he passed away, you know, the love for him that the West Coast showed for him, it, it just, it intrigued me. And I was like, you know what, let me see who this man really was. So I started doing some research um, on him and I saw a video where he talked about cryptocurrency and he was kind of like my inspiration for me to actually start looking into it. After he passed, I loaded Robinhood to my phone. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm finna just give it a shot. I'm finna give this stock thing a shot. Like I said, I'm gonna repeat this one more time. I ain't in no type of way a stock guru or none of that. I am I am an amateur in this game. Um 
but I do do research. I follow some people. I, you know, get leads and I jump in and, and see what's going on, see what it's all about. And that's how my interest gets sparked. And if I think, if I believe in the product, that's what, that's when I drop my coin. So, um, that's what I did. The first time I bought some, I bought, it was called BSV. And it was, it, I was thinking it was like, uh, it, this particular cryptocurrency. I was like, well, maybe it's a spinoff from Bitcoin because, um, because it did have Bitcoin in the, the name. So I was like, you know what? And it was low. It was like 50 some dollars. And so I jumped in and I bought a couple of, I bought a couple of units of that. And I just started, just, I just sat on it. And I say, I sat on it for a good year. It wasn't even no full year. I say it was probably about eight months. And I opened up Robinhood and I saw my account had just shot up. And I was like, oh my God, what is this? So I had just made $3,000 off of like I think I invested about $300 and I made $3,000. So I cashed in um, $2,000 of those dollars. I didn't cash it in. I just, I, I cashed, I sold $2,000 worth and just let it sit in the account. And I just so happened to be talking to a friend and we started talking about GameStop. And um, it was, we were talking about the consoles were getting ready to come out. And so I was like, you know what? And GameStop price was probably like $4. It was like three, it was like three to $4. So I was like, you know, the console about to come out. What the heck? I was just, I'm just going to take this whole $2,000 that I just got off of cryptocurrency and dump it in the GameStop. Hmm. That was the best thing I ever did. And I'm going to leave it at that. But ever since then, I've been dibbling, dabbling with crypto and stocks and I'm doing pretty good and I'm going to leave it at that um, but I still want to do much better and I believe Dogecoin is going to make that difference um, but like I said, I just wanted to, you know, get my thoughts on, um, you know, what I thought about Dogecoin. Because, you know, um, maybe, you know, some of you guys out there, you want to get into, you know, investing and you don't know anything. Um, all you got to do is just buy. Buy what you believe in. If you believe in something, put your money there. You never know what it's going what it's going to do for you. I actually have a friend, a couple of friends that like to do the lottery. I just don't see the lottery. I don't even I'm like I see it as a waste of money. If I take my money 
and I go purchase some stocks. At least I got something to show for it. I got something tangible for my dollar. I don't like, I ain't, ain't trying to be giving my money away. Um, that's the lotto is not me for you people who doing it. That's do you, do you, but that's not me. I want something tangible for my dollar. If I'm gonna spend my dollar, I want something in return. But I just wanted to do this quick video and let you guys know that don't be scared, just do it. Just do it because you never know what God was in God's plan for you. You see what's on my shirt? Assets over liabilities. I ain't got time to be purchasing something that's gonna burn my pocket. I want some I wanna buy stuff that's gonna make me money. And right now, um the main thing I'm doing is stocks. Um Y'all, y'all saw my husband in the beginning. It's Mother's Day. We out here just running around trying to do a couple of things. My bae got to, you know, hit the road today. Um, so I'm just going to try to enjoy him as much as I can. In this video, you know, he, I, it, it really wasn't about us. Because I wasn't going to do a video today. But when I saw what happened last night with the stock i was like i gotta do this i just gotta do this maybe you know i encourage somebody you know who who has an interest but um you guys just don't be afraid fear is what stops us from achieving our goals just jump out there and do what you gotta do man just just do it you know so but um I'm not going to, you know, hold this video up any longer. You know, hubby just got in the car. We about to get on the road. Um, you want to, we going to just close it out here. Um, I hope this video inspires somebody to do something, you know, different. Because if you, if you keep doing the same thing that you used to doing, how can you ever see anything different happen in your life? You know what I'm saying? If you want something new to happen, you got to change the game up. So just do whatever it is that you think that, um, what did you want to do? If you got something you want to do, give it a shot. Give it a shot. You never know what God, you know, what God got for you. So just, just step out on faith and do it. So, this. but we're going to get out of here. Um, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.